Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be taking you through my wash and go routine using the main choice ancient Egyptian line. I am starting on dirty hair <laughs> and I am taking my braids down. I believe I've had these braids in for about two or three weeks. I am starting with the Ancient Egyptian Shampoo and I'm just distributing this all throughout my hair. It's very cleansing and moisturizing and you can see how it's immediately reactivating my curls. Following the shampoo, I'm going to use the Ancient Egyptian Conditioner. This conditioner is so moisturizing, the slippage is amazing, and it smells wonderful. My hair feels so soft. Next I'm going to go in with the Ancient Egyptian Hair Mask, which is the deep conditioner from this line. And if you know me, you guys know I love deep conditioner. I do not apply it sparingly at all. I am very heavy handed with it. I apply it just like how I would a version relaxer. It needs to coat every single one of my strands. And that's just how I like to do it. This deep conditioner is, I can just feel it already. It's so wonderful. It goes on smooth. And now I'm just going to wrap my head in saran wrap or you can use a plastic cap. And I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for about 15 to 30 minutes. And I got this dryer from Amazon. You can look at the details in the description box. So now I'm going in with the Ancient Egyptian Leave-In Conditioner and I love how this smells. The whole line smells amazing and I love how light and airy this leave-in conditioner is. I definitely feel it absorbing into my hair instead of sitting on top of it. Now I'm going to go in with the 24 Karat Glistening Gold Twisting Gel. And I'm just going to apply this gel to my damp hair. Um, I love this gel, a little bit goes a very long way. So I'm just applying it and then I'm using my dimming brush to comb it out and just activate the curls. Since my hair is um, still short from my big chop, I have been having a hard time trying to get my curls to come through. It really kind of just looks like a frizzy afro most of the time. So this is the first time I'm giving this gel a try just to see if it will work for me. And I'm just combing it out with the Demon brush and the curls at the top of my head um, are a lot looser and um, a lot longer than the sides in the back. So as I'm combing it, I'm also finger coiling it just to kind of help those curls come out a little bit. The Demon brush is really helping as you can see. And so now I'm just going to brush these curls back because I don't think I'm going to like my hair and my face like that. <laughs> and so once I finish combing them out, I'm just going to finger coil it a little more. It doesn't look like much right now, but I'm going to let it dry. And this is the finished look, guys. I'm just picking it out with my comb for a little bit more volume. Guys, I don't know if you can like see this, as clear as I can. My curls are the most defined they've ever been since I have cut all my hair off. It's soft, um, I know it looks like a Brillo pad, but like it's really, really soft. And this is like, oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow. Wow, wow. 
I am just super excited to embark on this hair journey and I'm just banking on main choice being there for me throughout this hair journey because oh my goodness like you need to go get this stuff if you don't get anything else get this and I hope you guys stay with me on this journey if you have any idea what hair type I am please let me know I have no idea I also have no desire to like study it and try to figure it out I want somebody to tell me <laughs> what my hair type is um, but I probably won't see it for real for real until my hair gets a little bit longer um, because I'm already noticing that these curls right in here are way looser than the curls here and in the back but yeah i'm happy thank you guys for joining me let me know what other videos you guys want to see and i promise to keep you guys updated on my hair journey i will see y'all next time